Yes, sir. It's your girl Tang Gang, baby. Let me see you wobble, wobble. Woo! Back in the nineties, early two thousands, man. We'll never get them vibes back. Listen, I just had Nia Stacks sitting in the big seat, man. She got some good stuff. Y'all tune in for everything that's to come. Um, so we back. We back. Listen, man, I got the soundest assassin on the planet. My guy. Can we get a drum roll, DJ? Can we get something? Something. <laughs> Meet me in the city! Oh my God! Listen, 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 listen. I'm just, he don't like to do a lot of talking, so I'm gonna give y'all the initial introduction, right? And and I, and I wanna really just break it down to y'all and, and kinda get y'all a little glimpse of who Meet Me in the City is to me. All right, so before you go on the mic, man, let me just pay my homage, you dig? So uh, me and, me, and shout out to this whole studio because we all went to SAE, man. SAE Institute and, and look where we at today. But th that's getting off the topic. Listen, I met this guy 2019, um, SAE Institute, cafeteria, walk past him, asking what he did. He was in a film department. I let him know audio go with film. And then that's just like the birth of everything. Like. <laughs> If you go onto the What's Real page, if you go onto Tang Gang Baby's page, if you go to Wu Tang on Facebook, if you go to my Twitter, if you go to my YouTube, if you go to anywhere that I am, you will see this man's production. He is an artist of diff of many artists. Like, you know, there's artists and then you got people that's in a box and they are artists within artists. And this man is a creator and, and, and a blessing from God. And my right hand, my left hand, my middle man, my nigga, meet me in the motherfucking city with it. <laughs> ATL Georgia. Man, I don't know what's going on in the city. Can, can we, can, they, can, can you introduce yourself and let them know who you is, man? One time for the one time. I meet me in the city. You can find me on Instagram at meet me underscore in the city. Man, meet me in the city. I know you don't like to do too much talking. We just gonna brief it up real quick. All right? Can I can I get a little bit of that? What's up? All right, man. Tell them what you do. Tell them who you are and what you do. You know what I'm saying? Cause you could go to my page, but it's different when it comes from you. You know what I'm saying? And and just help and, and helping artists, people who searching for a person like you. What do you do? Take my camera, I'll pull up and catch a vibe. <laughs> this boy maybe the city say he gonna just pull up with the camera and catch a vibe. All right, that's good and all, man. Listen, even after catching a vibe, man, what kind of, I mean, the artist, your artistry. Talk about it. Talk about yourself, man. Let them know. A lot of people want to know who is Meet Me in the City. And I understand, like, you know, you don't want to be too far in the scene. But with the new merch that's coming, you know what I'm saying, and, and the stuff we about to push, man, just let them know what, what, what does Meet Me in the City mean then? Can you give me that? It's like I said, you call me. <laughs> I will pull up and I will catch a vibe with you. Whatever you want to do, you tell your story. What the city means to you, your experiences. Mm -hmm. It will make it as immersive as possible. I'll bring people into your world. That's what catching the vibe is. Mm. That's definitely. <laughs> so you just went out to LA. I seen you know you had took your trip out LA, man. What was the LA experience like? It was incredible. What's 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 different from LA to Georgia? Cause I mean I know we talked about it. And you was like a lot of people trying to come up to Atlanta, and I know it's more free, but you know just being in Atlanta for so long, like what's the difference? You know I ain't been to LA. Tell me about LA, man. What's what's the difference between LA and Atlanta? I'll, I'll obviously state, you know the obvious, which is weed. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> the dispensaries are, are incredible out there. Yeah. A couple of places will give you a couple of free dabs. Okay. But, you know, that's besides the point. Um, L.A. is very chilled. It's, it's real, real chilled. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it's, it's, it just it lets you pause for a minute and just, you know, interact with your thoughts. Like just on the beach and with the Venice Beach. Mm -hmm. 
and that was incredible. I met the guy who helped build the skate parks over there, the very, very famous skate parks. What? And I interviewed him for a little bit. And we, we just sat and we talked, and I really was just soaking up what it was to be at that place at that time. And yeah. This is what it means to different people, and this is why everybody comes here. You know, so I got to see that place through everybody's eyes. Man, listen, what was your favorite part about being in L.A.? Like, if you could go back to L.A. right now, where would you go the minute you get there just because you experienced it? I really like Beverly Hills. Yeah? I thought that was dope. Uh, Fairfax was, was pretty lit, too. Yeah? Yeah, it was nice. Went to Little Ethiopia, Englewood. Um, dope. Yeah, you know, L.A.'s big, so I didn't get a chance to see everything. Yeah. But what I did get a chance to see, I got a chance to, like, enjoy it. Like, really just being on the beach. And that's the one thing that, you know, uh, for me, is like a must. Like, you know, I need to be able to just experience, like, freedom. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just get out and get out into your own space and create your own vibe, like you right. said in the beginning. In L.A., you just feel free. Yeah. Georgia, too, you know. Georgia, for me, is, is it's a different grind. What would you say the differences is? Georgia has a lot of creatives, like people who are innovative. Yeah, like very. Very, very innovative. It's, it's like, it's really the home of like, just, just black excellence. Mm -hmm. And you know, and, and everybody's just, just a master of their craft. So being around this many creatives, and it's love, because like people work with each other. Mm -hmm. Like they'll just, oh, you do this? Okay, cool, I do this. I'm a fuck with you. Right. Like, this is how we're able to collaborate. You know, because you saw what I did and I saw what you did. So what Nia did. Yeah. And we were like, you know, it makes sense to collaborate. So other than like, I don't know, you know, music, outside the music, what do you film? Like, what is your interest? Like, what are you interested in filming? Like, you know, your craft... Because everybody could pick up any anybody could pick up a camera and shoot, but the way you shoot is authentic. Like, and I and I hate to keep using that word, but that really is like you know something that you do authentically, and nobody else has done it. And I haven't seen anybody. And I try to pick up a damn camera, and I be like, I'm gonna do meet me in the city today, goddamn. This is how you do it. But like, when what I, mean, I just lost my train of thought. Where what you like to film? What do you like to film? I like to film people in their environment. Okay. I definitely like that. I like telling the story. But I always like trying to find the, the good in the story. Yeah. Like, if I'm shooting in a bluff, I'm not just going to show the, the, the junkies and stuff like that. I'm going to show the beauty of it. I got uh, videos on my Meet Me in the City page of just kids just dancing. You know, yeah. Through COVID, just enjoying themselves. You know, and it was just like, there's beauty here, there's life here. I always try to show life. You know, even in places that might be considered, you know, just dead or, or, or void of life. Yeah. If you show people, you know, uh, a more positive reflection of themselves, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times you show, them, you show it to them enough, they'll start to see it. And, and from there they can grow. And that's, that's all I want to do. I just want to help my art inspire people to grow. Most definitely. Ah, listen. My guy, Meet Me in the City, I will forever uh, pay homage to this guy. He works with me morning, night, or day. I can give him a call. I might have an idea. I run it by him. Meet Me in the City, like, let's go. And it's all about how I want to create it. He's real into, uh, you know, he's also a, a, a developer in a, in a sense. He develops your image, you know what I'm saying? And I would highly suggest anybody to just stop what they doing go follow him go check him out meet me in the city is m-e-e-t-m-e -E 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 underscore in the city man for real and uh the guy is amazing everywhere we go they're like man what is he shooting with what is that it's just like man this is just my phone so you can imagine what he could just do outside of that like this guy is really talented and very humble and just, you know, it's not about him. But I just want to give him that platform where people can start linking in and see what I see. You know what I'm saying? And you just, everybody can benefit from a meet me in a city. Straight up, straight like that. You know I mean? <laughs> um, 
this is my first episode. I got family in here. This is like family. So it's yeah. just like, I, I don't care. I'm getting you on here. You're going to do this interview and uh, yeah. you're just going to hate me tomorrow. We'll make up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this is important. Um, merch, real quick. Just tell me about the art of your merch. You know, I know you was telling me yeah, a little so bit about your design. Meet me in the city. So I got an amazing designer, graphic designer, tap in with us and stuff. You know, we can get you this merch and everything like that, but you'll see a lot more. It'll be organic to, you know, where we're at here in, in, in Metro Atlanta. You know, it'll be, I got some surprises, let's put it like that. But definitely tap in with me and everything. And I greatly appreciate you having me uh, up here. <laughs> it's all good hey meet me in the city man we gonna keep all that y'all look out for that tag too this guy going places he been in every every position than one we ain't even gonna talk about all that because now is the re the revamp and i ain't never seen this meet me in the city i knew that the meet me in the city before but this one this one right here is special, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we doing. We paying homage today. Shout out to my girl Nia Stacks for coming on in the building. She definitely check in with her. That's Nia Stacks, the real Nia Stacks. And then uh, Neo Stacks, definitely tap in with her, uh, her, her beard because uh, that is definitely the brand that she's branded right now. And uh, she's doing her thing, you know, with the ship. The artist development, the video uh, the directed, her merch, you know, the crochet shoes, like all that is her unique talent. Definitely tap in with her. And like I said, man, this is my shooter. He don't miss. He don't miss the Salon Assassin. Listen, I'm in here with DJ Apollo. Uh, and now two times DJ. Man, we here at New Life, New Label. We in a building. Man, DJ. Drop some else, some more heat for him. Tune in every Monday, 1 to 3 p.m. What's real? It's gonna be live on my IG at What's Real. Listen, we going up on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all that, man. Listen, stay locked. Keep it locked. I got you. Meet me in the city. Keep all that. What's real? It's your girl Tang Gang, baby. I'm definitely in the studio. New life, new label. Shout out to them. Listen, my first episode. I hope everybody enjoyed it. It was something I put together. It was a, uh, it was planned and freestyled at the same time. You know, with everything being brand new this year, dealing with so much, you just gotta test out different things with with no type of plans. You know, just do it. You know what I mean? I live by the uh, Nike brand. I, I love Nike. Shout out to Nike, man, because they transitioned in so many years to be so big, and they just started off with a dream. And that's for anybody. Who's just out there and believe in a self, man? It start with a dream, man. <laughs> Listen, I got a lot going on this year, so I have to, you know, just give a couple shout outs, give a couple other platforms that I'm on, so everybody knows what's going on before I leave this building. Um, first, uh, so I'm a podcast, of course. Every Monday, you can catch me from one to three. I'll be streaming live on my What's Real IG page, so you can actually. Uh, physically see me um also on facebook at wu-tang um, that's w-o-o-t-a-n-g um the what's real is uh w-u-t-z-r-e-a-l um the podcast will be uploaded on my youtube uh channel and monetized on itunes and soundclouds soundcloud at the moment um other than the podcast i host link me in sundays in north carolina gastona uh, my Time Couture, that is uh, a brand in North Carolina. I'm up there at the end of, I'm at the last Sunday of each month. So I go to North Carolina, uh, me and my team, and we create content up there. And we also do a lot of hosting. So um, not only am I a podcast, but I've done a lot of several hosting events. I host for Streets 94.5. Um, I did something recently for Black Ink. Um, and 
of course, I just said Link Me In Sunday and just several other many things that I've hosted. So I do a lot of hosting in the city. You'll definitely hear more of 10 Gang Baby. Um, I'm a PR in the city of Atlanta. I attend celebrity events every month, uh, creating relationships with the in industry's higher ups. So if you like to connect with me on that, you could definitely hit all the DMs. My IG, um, I'm also 10 Gang Baby on IG, um, my own brand name, which is T-A-N-G-G-A-N-G-B-A-B-Y. And of course, what's real. Also, Wu Tang on Messenger. So when it comes to the DM, hit me. I check even though even when I'm not following you, I just check who still might have sent me a message. And so I definitely check messages and I definitely respond. And when it comes to the PR service, that's Tops PR. Um, you could definitely look them up. They're hot in Atlanta right now. So um, I am affiliated with them. Um, I'm a content creator with my director. Meet me in the city. That's Freddie Rio, people. Yes, he was on the podcast today i made them come and i don't care because i did it yes i did it that's meet me in the city um so we coming hard this year with a lot of content we are doing live interviews for those inspiring entrepreneurs inside of the city and outside of the city as well as you know he went to la recently created some dope content for um what's their names rough ross Rough Rod. Drip, drip Gods. Drip Gods. Yeah, shout out to them. We actually had a fashion show up in North Carolina. And uh, yeah, my we daughter. They got another one coming too. They got oh, another yeah. one coming too. Um, we'll definitely touch on that. So yeah, um, Meet Me in the City is my celebrity cameraman. He is also the director of everything that I have going on. And like I said, we create content. We do live interviews for those inspiring entrepreneurs, people who are doing something, people. You need content. We're going to come up there and we're going to have you feeling like a million bucks. Um, you want us to come out to get coverage? Please tap in. Tap in. That's Tang Gang Baby at What's Real. Meet me in the city. <laughs> yeah, Listen, I want to give a shout out to my guy, DJ Apollo. He is in the building, but not only is he a DJ, that man is an engineer. Yes, I repeat, people. So those uh, sounds that sounding a little muddy, a little gushy in the middle and ain't getting it right, come holler at my boy DJ Apollo. Yes. And if y'all want to really find him and get connected with him, y'all can follow him at Apollo Rock. That's A-P-O-L-L-O-R-O-C. That's Facebook. That's TikTok. That's IG. That's SoundCloud. That's YouTube. Did I forget anything, DJ Apollo? <laughs> <laughs> thing about what's real is keeping it real being around the real and we gonna do real things 2021 is just the beginning listen i'm so proud of the woman i became from the woman i started and um i just inspire anybody to just get up and do it man listen nike is my favorite brand and it's not for the check it is not for the check it is for the same it's just just do it Please don't tell me you can't do something if you didn't just do it. And that's why, uh, Rafael Way Moody, I want a Nike outfit for my birthday. Yes, Pisces season <laughs> is in approach. Pisces season is in approach. What else I got? Oh, uh, Tuesdays. Nia Stack still in the building. Tuesdays. What's what's going on Tuesdays? One more time for me, Nia. Every Tuesday, March. Every Tuesday, March. We are going OG Hood Rich Studio, uh, open mic night for the artists, and I'm raffling off three bags, one each week. Raffling off three bags, one each week. OG Hood Rich Studio, tap in with Nia Stack. She is in the building. She has all three official bags, and they still in the plastic. I can't even smell the new smell because they still wrapped up. Come on, man. It's your girl, Tang Gang Baby, man. Listen. I was just going to pop a little bit, but I think I popped enough. This was my first episode. You know, I, I want to say that I, ner I was nervous, but I was definitely excited. And when you're full of excitement, you know, and you know what tends to happen. You know what I mean? But everybody who was in a bill. Hey, shout out to my guy, DJ Waffles, man. One time for the one time. He just walked in the building. Listen, without him... Real rap. Without him, this would not be possible right now. So, like, you know, it's just everybody who's in this building right now, if you could just see how much love is in this facility right now, for real. 
Meet Me in the City, DJ Apollo, Nia Stax, DJ Waffles, my girl Rafael Wayne, it's your girl Tang Gang, baby. Hey, Apollo, man, take me up out of here. Yeah, man. Uh, 